welcome to this installment of your QuickBooks training. My name is Mary Janicek, and I am thrilled to assist you on a truly rewarding experience with QuickBooks accounting software. Now, you may be reaching for your cell phone, or perhaps thinking about writing that note to your neighbor, because if you're anything like me, you will sat through more than your fair share of boring training, where every moment that passes is more excruciating than the last. But not today. What we're going to cover is crucial to your success in QuickBooks, because as remarkable a program as QuickBooks is, especially in terms of being user-friendly, there is some foundational accounting knowledge that is critical in order to utilize it to its fullest potential. So, what is this foundational knowledge that you need so badly? Let's get started and I'll show you. Now, let's begin with the base, Accounting 101. Well, let's say, take a step back. How does Accounting 101 affect you in QuickBooks? This is simple, because every transaction in QuickBooks consists of two things, a debit and a credit. A debit, and let's remember these terms, the debit is always on the left side of a journal entry, and the credit is always on the right side. Now, this may be the old school way of doing your debits and credits on a journal entry, because if you're used to using QuickBooks, or if you have any experience in there, you may not see it like that. But, this is how some of us may still do it. So, how do we put this knowledge into practice? You know what a debit is, you know what a credit is. Okay, one goes on the left, one goes on the right. What does that mean to me exactly? Let me show you. Now, this chart you are going to want to keep forever. It is going to be a lifesaver in QuickBooks because let's remember our assets, liabilities, equity, revenue, and expense. And if you've had any experience in QuickBooks looking around, perhaps you've worked on the, you've seen the chart of accounts, looked at the trial balance. These are all of your accounts. Now. Here's where our debits and credits come in. And this may seem like a lot, but it's quite simple if you can just remember this chart or memorize it in here. Let's take our assets for example. That would be a bank. Now, we have the normal balance of your bank should be a debit, right? Unless you're overdrawn and then it's gonna be a credit balance. So it's normally a debit balance. Your bank increases with the debit and decreases with the credit. Okay, lots of terms, lots of debits and credits in there. Let's just remember this. Okay, let's turn to QuickBooks so that I can help you understand how these debits and credits apply to you specifically. If we move into QuickBooks, we're going to see, for example, writing a check. Now, I said that in QuickBooks, there's a debit and credit for every transaction. And writing a check is no different because we have our bank that's one side we have to have another so if we wrote this check for utilities then our expense account is going to be utilities therefore we have two sides one's a debit and one's a credit okay which is which can you remember let's go back to our chart 